snorkeling opens up a new dimension to those who enjoy the beauty of our underwater world. It's a great first step leading to scuba diving and for those who are already certified scuba divers, there are times when scuba gear is either not necessary for exploring shallow areas or is prohibited. The snorkel attaches to your mask and allows you to keep your face in the water so you don't have to raise your mouth out of the water in order to take a breath. There are essentially three types of snorkels, the basic, the semi-dry and the dry snorkel. The basic no bells and whistles snorkel consists of a breathing tube that forms a J at the mouthpiece end. The semi-dry snorkel adds a splash guard positioned at the top of the snorkel which is intended to deflect splashing water from the opening. The dry snorkel differs from the basic and semi-dry snorkel in that it is designed with a dry top feature intended to prevent water from entering the snorkel when diving underwater or in choppy surface conditions. A comfortable mouthpiece made of silicone is also important when selecting a snorkel. It should stay put when the jaws relax. Next is the mask. The fit and seal are the primary considerations when selecting a mask. Prepare your new mask for its first use according to manufacturer's instructions. Mask defog is an essential accessory. Once you've selected the right mask and snorkel for your use, you want to attach the snorkel to the mask. This is done using a snorkel clip or keeper that typically comes with your snorkel. With the mouthpiece in place, the tip of the snorkel should be over the crown of your head when facing down in the water. This position places the tip of the snorkel at its highest point, making it more difficult for water to get inside the tube. When in an upright position, the top will be slightly behind your head. Fins will help you move about while snorkeling. The type and style of fins you select will be based upon the environment and your individual preferences. To protect against sun exposure, scrapes and stings, we suggest you cover your skin by wearing a long sleeve rash guard or even a full skin suit. Even in the tropics, a lightweight wetsuit will provide sun protection, insulation and a bit of buoyancy for floating comfortably on the surface as a snorkeler. When on the surface, stay alert to boat traffic and other potential hazards. When possible, snorkel in designated areas and never snorkel in an active boat lane. It is best to keep your arms relaxed by your side and let the fins do the work. Small steady strokes with the fins will allow you to smoothly glide through the water. If you wish to remain on the surface or having trouble floating, feel insecure or a little nervous, use a snorkeling jacket to provide extra buoyancy and comfort. Pay attention to your surroundings while snorkeling to avoid coming too close to delicate corals that you might damage or could injure you. Hard corals are sharp and can leave a bad scratch if accidentally scraped. While divers and snorkelers often share the same dive site, as a snorkeler you should never share air with a scuba diver. Breathing compressed air when not on scuba can result in a serious injury to you the snorkeler. Before entering the water, you and your buddy need to determine some helpful hand signals in the event you need to communicate with each other. Discuss a basic plan such as which direction you will go, how far you will go, and how long you will snorkel. Next, double check the equipment to make sure it is in good shape and is fitting properly. It is easy to become immersed in the beauty and excitement of all you see below the surface. However, it is important for you to keep track of your location. For example, mild currents can push you off track without you realizing it. To avoid such surprises, frequently perform a visual check to see your position in relation to your entry exit point. Snorkeling is a fun, easy way to enjoy the marine world. It often opens the door to another exciting sport, scuba diving. Who knows, maybe earning your certification in scuba diving will be your next big step to amazing adventures. This video is for demonstration purposes only and not intended to replace formal scuba instruction. For more information, contact your local dive center.